As we move closer to the 2024 presidential election, the debate over election integrity continues to be a hot button issue. One right wing group out of Texas called True the Vote had been claiming it can prove widespread voter fraud in Georgia's 2020 presidential election. However, in new court documents filed in Fulton County, Georgia, reveal the group admitted it can't actually produce evidence of that fraud. After President Joe Biden won the 2020 election, True the Vote claimed Biden won only because of widespread voter fraud and coordinated efforts to stuff ballot boxes in Atlanta. The group said it had obtained a detailed account of coordinated efforts to collect and deposit ballots in drop boxes across Metro Atlanta during both the 2020 presidential election and the January 2021 Senate election runoff. The group wouldn't provide its supposed proof to investigators, so a district judge ordered True the Vote to produce the evidence, including recordings, transcripts and witness statements, as well as proof of ballot harvesting and ballot trafficking. The group's lawyers submitted documents repeatedly stating it does not have in its possession custody or control such identity and contact information and that TTV does not retain such records in its possession, custody or control. A spokesperson for Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger's office said once again, true the vote has proven itself untrustworthy and unable to provide a shred of evidence for a single one of their fairy tale allegations. Like all the lies about Georgia's 2020 election, their fabricated claims of ballot harvesting had been repeatedly debunked. On its website, True the Vote says every article written about its court filing is fake news and that every ounce of evidence it gave the Georgia Bureau of Investigation related to the 2020 general election cannot be understood to be like records stored somewhere. The organization says the evidence consisted of massive quantities of electronic data that could only be appreciated and understood when you had multiple servers processing it and visually displaying how the information intersected in real time. This is called geospatial analysis. The group claims the state was unwilling to provide whistleblower protection in 2021 and unwilling to examine the data while it was still set up in active databases. True the Vote claims the Georgia investigators could have gotten a warrant to investigate the data and that there's nothing from stopping the agency from doing that, even now, more than three years later, saying only law enforcement can deninimize the geospatial analysis of data. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, it's unclear at this time if the attorney general will further pursue this case.